All right, before I begin, one of the things I like to do is figure out, kind of get an idea of how I might break this down. So when I start looking at this, I try to break it down into boxes, because every div is a box, right? So I'm looking at, uh, flip this up a little bit. So when I'm looking at this right up in here, I'm thinking, okay, this black bar up here, it's gotta be a box. So, let's draw a box around this one. Close enough. And then we've got another one right here for this kind of header space. Let's zoom out here. Now when I look at this one right in here, I'm not sure whether or not I want to um, draw the box at this space. Or if I want to draw it in this space. There's a couple different ways that it can be done. Um, in this case, I'm starting to think that I'm going to draw it the way I just did, this large size. And my reasoning is, I see that this kind of aligns right up here with this. So I'm thinking to myself, there might be a commonality with this kind of grid line right in here. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep it big. Because then I could probably do the same thing for this space. As I do for this space. And down here, we've got the footer. But then we also got kind of this columns in here, right in here. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. Um, kind of depends. Um, I could split it like that in the two, but this section right in here kind of floats. So I'm not really sure. Um, kind of do some drawing here to see how it might break out. I'm trying to see if there's any sort of kind of consistent grid that it fits to. And to be honest, it doesn't really seem to. Um, so, well, we'll come back to this one. I'm not completely sure. So this is how I started out. So, I know that I've got one, two, three, four main sections. So let's look at those four and see if it, some of it makes sense to actually even give it names. So this black bar up here, um, well, it looks like it has navigation. And there is a navigation tag. It's just nav. So we'll have nav here. And this one is header. So or hero image, but there is also a header tag. So maybe I'll go header right there. Oh, it's not writing super well. Um, header could, I'm gonna draw over on the right side if you look. Header could be both, and that's probably more common, but in this case, yeah, since we're just kind of starting out, I'm just gonna do it for just this image space right there. And this is kind of the main area, so this one right in here, I'm just going to call main. And then down here, footer. And so I think that's our good start. So we've got one, two, so we'll do it in one, two, three four kind of main areas. So I think the next step is I'm gonna start and kind of get the basic kind of add normalize and I know that we have two different fonts. We've got this font here and this font down in here. So we'll start the page and get those pieces on. Now that we have an idea of what we want to kind of tackle with those four divs, I'm gonna go into Dreamweaver here. And let's start by creating a, a site. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to choose Manage Sites. I have several. And we'll go New Site. And we'll say Recreate Me. And I think I already saved these. So here's the images and the Recreate Me ping. So I'm going to choose. And save. So 
here's the images, here's the recreate me ping. So let's get started. So create a new file. Oops. New index HTML. And it started right there. And I don't remember what the title of this word was, but uh hot air balloon. Now we keep emphasizing that we want people to use normalize. So um We're going to grab that link, put that in there. Um, not 100% sure we'll use it in this one, but we will always going forward. So we're going to grab this clear fix. This is a safe one to use. I just happen to prefer this one. For the sake of this, I'll just grab this one. So that's uh, one of our first styles. All right. Make our folk code clean up a little bit. Oops, what happened there? All right. This is important because this is essentially how almost every site should probably start off for you. So you'll want to get to this or always have this ready to start rather than building it out like that. All right. So if we look at <clears throat> our four main sections that we created, this is the nav. Our next one. Header. This is the header. Yes, I know I misspelled that, but this will go away anyway. I'm going to call the one in the middle main. Again, you can call it anything you want. And then the last one is footer. All right, so we've got that built. I'm gonna let this load up here real quick. You can see the web page is there. So let's put in some of the larger pieces. What am I do here? You can kind of see over here some of those changes happen while we work on it. So, in here with the style nav background color color white. See that there? <clears throat> now let's go ahead and move on to the header. We have a background image. You can see that it's Load it up in there, right there. Right, 350 pixels. So now it's starting to get in there. So background. Size is going to be cover. Background. Position. Center. So 
Let me just slide this over. You can see we're kind of getting there. Footer height 250 pixels. Background color. Oops. Beige. Bisque. We'll have to go to the darker brown layer, but I'll figure that out later. So we're kind of getting that built. Now we got to get our fonts. I cheated. I went ahead and looked it up. So we're going to use this font. Um, I'm going to grab them both. So I got regular and I have bold. Those are the two that I have to work with. So come up here. We'll grab our link. And that's back in the head. So let's keep this up here above the style stuff. And then the other one that I want to grab is um, Open Sans. And we'll, call, we'll do Light, Regular, Bold. Oh, this is actually nice. It actually has them both. So, all I need is to actually replace that one. So this one link, oops, copy just that. This one link will actually have them both. And so I don't forget, we'll come over and then here. I'll make a comment with those so I remember how to put them in there. So we know that this one is what we're going to use in the header, or at least actually maybe we'll just use it in the H1s. We haven't built an H1 yet, so H1 font family that. And so if we're curious to see if that works out right, so in here we have that where it says this is the header. We'll just put an H1 around it. You can see, we've got that there. Interestingly enough, all of a sudden that space came in. This is the problem we encountered um, in class. So the H1 probably needs a margin and padding of zero. There we go. Looks like all we need is margin. So we'll save this. And in the other one, I noticed that kind of this header and the copy that was in here kind of had the same kind of left margin. So for this case, I'm going to go ahead and say um, this whole section, say the header, give it a padding. And remember, it's these are the how, how it goes around the top, right, bottom, left. So you can see right there how it gives you those. So let's go back and let's say from the top, let's do this 25 pixels. You can see over here that it's kind of moved down. Great. Um, but then on the uh, right and the left, I'm going to do a percentage instead on this one. So we'll do, say, 20%. I don't need anything on the bottom. 20% there. So 
25 on the top, 20 on the right, 0 on the bottom, 20 on the left. So we'll close that out. Now if we move that over, you can see we've got that built in. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay, we're going to want the same for this. So let's just copy that right away. And apparently I didn't make a main. So I like to try and keep things in the same order that they're on the page. You notice Dreamweaver gave me a hint. Hey, why don't you use main? We'll paste that in. Here we go. So now we've got those that are lining up. Since we're doing some aligning in the nav, text align center, we'll get that in the middle. So we've got those kind of lined up. We got this going, we got this going, and that. Um, we haven't um, declared what the default font is, and since we're kind of using this for um, the H1, I don't remember the name of that font. So let's just come in here and let's say body. And so in essentially everything that's on the page, let's default it to open sans. So we do that. And now everything except that H1 is open sans. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy in all of the text. All right, all I've done here is copy in the text. You can see we've got the text in here. And I added in some stuff up in there. Oops, looks like I might have missed a one little pipe there. All right. So. Um, because it'll drive me nuts, let's go ahead and give this some space right away. So, up in the nav, I'll go ahead and give it a little padding. And in this case, we'll say 5 pixels. And that's not enough. 15. Sure, that looks pretty decent. Um, <clears throat> moving down here, we're missing a little bit of text. So we'll come in here and that doesn't really look like we've done much for that. So we just look over here, and that's looking pretty good. We might want to make that a little bigger. We'll see. And we get down here, we're missing a title. So come in here. We'll add an H1 here. This is your. And you can see that because it was an H1, it was already there. So we're in good shape there. And then we had extra letting in here. In CSS, it's line height. So um, let's create a new class. And um, let's see. So we'll add that class to that paragraph. And so in here, we can start to expand line height. So I'm doing 100% or off of percentage just because that way it doesn't 
isn't dependent on the font size. And for the sake of being extreme, there we go. We'll go 200 for that. So we've got that in place. Moving back down, we have some links. So we can find that word down in here, chocolate. And here's a little Dreamweaver tip. Once you get your properties window open, you can fill in a link down here and it will automatically put the code in. And we can't really tell if there's any difference. There we go. It's the wrong color. So for the sake of this one, I'm not a fan of doing it this way, but there's really only two links on this site for now. So we'll change all of the A tags for now. And just say that the color is we use bisque. Again, wrong color, but and then we can add text, decoration, none. And that's how we can find out or get it so that there's no line underneath and you can see it right there. So there it is. There are a couple more things we need to do when I look at this. It looks like this link that we have here is um, not quite uh, bold enough. So let's go ahead and uh, change that a little bit here. So we'll go into the, to the link area and font weight. Bold. You can see there we go, I've gotten that a little bit thicker. And since we've Trying to make this match a little bit more. The other the example has two links in there, so we'll add another link over here. So you can see we got another link here. So we got this automatically being bold. So as we look here, you can see we got that in there. Next, we've got that the uh, Hot air balloon it goes right over here in this right area, and um, this is actually isn't too difficult um, in that we can come in here and we can add an image right here at the start of that paragraph. So I'm gonna add the image tag and give it a source. And there's the balloon. Give this an alt tag. And then we're going to do it this way. So we're going to add a class here and we'll call it um, inline image. So we've got the got it floating there, or got it sitting there. We just need to get it to float over to the right. So up here, inline image, which is what we just added to the balloon. And all we really need to do is add a float to the right. And you can see here that it's now floating to the right. So we got that there. The other thing I look at is, is there enough padding in here? and Let's just go ahead and do this, and it actually seems fine. Seems to be enough on the image. Quite often you'll need to add a little bit of padding there. Now let's talk about the footer. I've been avoiding the footer, because it's really quite confusing how the footer is kind of set up. Um, <clears throat> when we did the drawing, it looked like there was kind of four different areas, and um, that's essentially what I'm going to go with, is that we have the four areas and I'm going to switch back to my iPad here. So in the in the footer, one, two, three, four areas is kind of what I'm thinking. 
So we can just do 25% for each of those and have that in there. What tricks me up a little bit is this kind of space right here. So I drew the boxes um, this big. I'm going to draw it down here. It's also possible that someone might tackle it like this. So imagine this is the footer. And I might break the footer into spaces like this, where contact is here. And then the address, privacy policy are there. So it's very possible that someone might break it up like that, which is absolutely fine too. But it's this space right here that I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit on. So we're going to go 25, 25, 25. And 25 put this in and we're gonna have to like create some custom space for that to kind of make it align with that other one so to me let's start with the boxes and in the footer we'll just have um, four columns. So I'm going to just make four of them like this. So one, two, three, and four. So we've got the four columns. We will add a class for the columns. And this is where we introduced the float. So we'll say that those are left. And if we look at it now, we'll see they are floating. One, two, three, four. Next, we need to give them a width. percent and you'll see that they spread out now that we've got that let's put some of our content in there so for number column two we'll just try right away to put the uh, header in there contact us and didn't put any tags around that so we'll make that an h1 because our h1 should automatically assign that font and so we're getting close now i see that this has kind of got some it's too close to this so let's go ahead and add some padding to the entire footer find the footer up here padding to get you used to the top right bottom left so four numbers so we'll give the top 15 pixels and then the rest we'll just leave it zero for now so getting good looking good that footer let's get that the date down in there or the location and the privacy policy so under contact us, you can see down here in the code, we'll just type in the content that we have there. All right, and then in this column, um, privacy policy, copy, Oops. if I do a shift return, it does a breakpoint. Then we need the copyright symbol. Um, I'm choosing the edit, or excuse me, insert. There we go. 
well, we can make it this year, I guess. So, so we pretty much got it. We just need to put some more um, spacing. Did I not save? Some more spacing on that one column. So let's just see what it looks like here. Oh, and we also forgot the bold for privacy policy. So in here I can highlight it. I can hit bold. You can see it just puts the strong tag around it. And so now we've got to get that aligned. So let's see what it looks like right now. Really pretty close. So let's just put some or some vertical space above that one. And because it doesn't have its own name, they're all exactly the same. Let me make the code look a little better. Column one, the second column. These all have the class call. So I'm going to add another class here. So we have two classes on this. Call it column one. Column two. Column three and column four. And we want to put some space above that one right there. So uh, up here, column three, just forgot the dot. Adding and top, right, bottom, left. Now it's not quite right. And that's okay, because I want to show you one more thing that's really nice to do in here. If we do the inspect element, let me roll over. You can see that it has a padding of 10 right over here in the inspect. So I can highlight this, and just with the up and down arrow, I can change it. So I can bring it down here. So we get it to match what we've got. And so it looks like it's 36. So that does not save it or anything. So now we go back to Dreamweaver. And instead of 10, we switch that to 36. Now a couple bonus. Well, let's see. Let's just take one last look at it here. I think we've pretty much got it. i got to get rid of the 1 and the 4. But this is, for the most part, done.